Welcome to Castro Studio. In this video, we should be learning how to cut a chevron pattern in a simple way. If you are new on this channel, kindly subscribe. Your subscription means a lot to us. It encourages us to upload more videos frequently. Thank you to do that. What is chevron? Chevron is an inverted V pattern with each side meeting at a point without interruption. For the purpose of this video, this is the skirt we shall be using the illustration of the skirt. The skirt has two center panels, so the chevron lines will be on the center panels alone. So we shall be cutting out the panels now using one of the panel. Uh, for the two, use one panel to cut the both sides. So what I'm going to do now is to form a crease line, a slanted crease line on one on the panel. How deep the crease line is now is my choice. I might decide to make it deeper or shallow. You can see now I'm making a more slanted V line. Okay, so. I'm opting for the first one. So that's what I'm going to do. So with the crease line, the work is done. So what I'm going to do now is, since my the fabric has lines, that you can cut a chevron pattern on a fabric that doesn't have lines. You said that it has lines or it has flowers that are arranged in lines. But in the case of this fabric, it has lines. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to align the crease on the paper with the lines, with one of the lines on the fabric. The crease on the paper, the crease I made on the paper now, I'm going to align it with one of the lines on the fabric. The fabric has about three lines, three different lines, like three shades of lines. One is in gold, one is, one is in blue, one is in, I think, brown. So I'll choose one of the lines and align and place that crease line on that line. Very simple. So having done that, the paper will fall in place, then I'll cut it out. Here it is. Cut out. Can you see what I'm having? Diagonal line. Instead for the lines to be either vertical or horizontal, it's diagonal. So by the time I call the second side, it will give me a V shape. Either inverted or V. Can you see the way I align the paper? On the line. So, automatically, by the time I cut it out, this is what I have. Interesting, you see? Follow. Now, to cut the second, uh, the second half of the panel now, the second panel, the first panel that I cut, I'm going to choose a line from that panel, just like I did on the paper. So I'm trying to form a crease line on that fabric, the, the, the panel now, the first panel cut out. So I will iron on one of the lines. So it will be easy for me to align it with the second, for the second uh, side of the panel. Great. So having done the crease line now, I'm going to, you can see the line, yeah. So that particular crease again, I will choose, if that crease line is on a gold line, I will find a gold line on the book, on the, on the remaining fabric. Do you get me? If I made a crease line, if I ironed on a gold line in the first panel, to call the second panel, I'll make sure I'm aligning that gold line on the first panel on the remaining fabric on the table to call the second panel. I hope I'm in my circle. Then I'll make sure my fabric at the panel leave very well. Wall. No fold. That's it. That's the second panel. You can see the lines forming V this time. Beautiful. Very simple. You can cut it under 30 minutes. Max, max. So the same thing goes for the back. I use the uh, back panel, the front panel now, I'm sorry, the front panel to cut the back panel. All I just did was to add 
zip allowance. But when I, I was cutting it, I took into consideration the, the first method I used, you know, forming a crease line, aligning the line with it, with what I want to cut. Now this is one of the back panel. I want to use that one also to cut the second side of the back panel. Align it, just make sure everything is in alignment. That's it. So that's one side of this back panel on the remaining bulk of fabric to cut the second side of the back panel. Very simple. If you are enjoying this video, kindly give us a thumb up. Help us to share to your friends, your various groups. And kindly subscribe if you have not. Thank you so much. See you in our next video. Bye.